So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on that one video I made about almost a week ago. It's about these four people who kidnapped a Trump supporter and tortured him and all this other crap. You can go watch the original video for yourself if you don't know what's going on. So basically, the four people have been kidnapped. Thank fucking Jesus, you know what I mean? And um, the shocking thing here, if you can even call it shocking, I'm not shocked, but uh, you know, some people may be shocked, is that the four people show no remorse for kidnapping... Uh, I guess it was like a kid. People are saying that these people are kids. I don't believe it. But anyways, they kidnapped them. They make them drink toilet water. They said, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck white people. All this shit. They did all this stupid shit and showed their faces on Facebook and everything. And streamed it to their own personal Facebooks. Because, you know, that's, that's what smart people do. And yet, after being apprehended by the police, you know, probably being, you know, told multiple times how horrible they are. They show no remorse. Literally no remorse. Now, there's a quote from Terminator that accurately represents how most teenagers are these days. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. Kyle Reese said it best. They can't be bargained with. They can't be reasoned with. They don't show pity, remorse, or fear. And they absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. You know, I got this dude stalking me right now. Who hates my guts. Who wants me off YouTube so badly. And even after that, I guarantee you, he wants to stalk me in the real world. And fuck with my life and make it a living hell. Because that's what your average teenager these days is. They're, they're fucking scumbags, man. They're being raised by single parents. Or in these people's cases, you know, big fucking shocker here. All of them being raised by grandparents. They don't even have any fucking parents in their lives. And you people want to tell me, you know, all these other stories I told you about where these people show no remorse after what they've done to people, that, oh, it's just a few people, it's not all teenagers. Well, yeah, it's, of course it's not all, you fucking idiots. I never said it was all, but there is a serious problem with today's teenagers. You know, I decided to Google uh, the no remorse thing to see if I could find an actual news story on it. Because it's out there somewhere, but I just didn't feel like searching through a bunch of stuff. And I found a bunch of other news stories of teenagers doing horrible shit like this. And having no fucking remorse. I mean, seriously, this is actually a proven fact that your average teenager shows way less remorse than your average adult. If that's not a serious, you know, indication that there's something fucking wrong here, guys, I don't know what is, man. I've been trying to tell you guys. It's been years now that there's something wrong with today's, you know, kids... And we need to do something about it. And my personal opinion, number one, there's no fathers in half of these kids' lives. You know, kids need their mother and their father. But half of them are being raised by single dishrag whore fucking mothers who don't know how to raise these people right. They raise their kids to act out of emotion. They don't think before they do things. They just, you know, something bad happens to them and they react out of emotion, you know. Or somebody, it's the same thing on Twitter, right? When you see somebody who gets pissed off at you on Twitter because you didn't like their post or something and say, Motherfucker, I'm going to kill you when I see you. And the scariest part about that is people actually do that. People actually, you, know, you step on their shoes and suddenly they pop a cap in your ass. You know, you diss them on Twitter and next thing you know they're coming to your house with a fucking gun and killing you. This is reality, people. And I know a lot of you out there don't want to hear it. You put your fingers in your ears, you're like, la 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 la, I don't want to hear it. But it's the truth, man. And can we please, please stop calling these teenagers kids. Let me tell you something, man. In my eyes, when you hit the age of like 15 or 16, you're not a kid anymore, okay? I think 15 and 16 is where people should start getting some form of common sense. Because when you're a very early teen, like 13 and 14, your body's going through a lot of changes, your emotions are going nuts. I understand that. I was a teenager once too. But I was also 16. And I didn't do this shit. And you gotta love the news reporters, man. You gotta fucking love these shitty ass news reporters who say things like, Well, they're just kids. You know how kids are. Yeah, because when I was 18 years old, I kidnapped a black kid and said, Fuck black people to his face. Made him drink toilet water and said, Fuck Obama. While I recorded it on my fucking Facebook. Fucking pathetic, man. We use any excuse for these people. And, and the fact that people also try to act like this was not a racial crime of any kind, that black people can't be fucking racist, get the fuck out of here. Get out of my fucking face with that bullshit. Anybody can be racist. White people, Mexican people, black people, Asian people, any one of you motherfuckers out there can be racist. You know it and I know it. And the fact that the media is so fucking terrified to say that this was racially motivated proves there's something wrong. Because we all know if this was 
four white people, two dudes and two white chicks, right, who kidnapped a, a black person, doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl, and said, fuck black people, fuck Obama, and they put it on their Facebook, cities around the United motherfucking states will be burning down as I'm speaking still today. And you know it, and I fucking know it. And this is fucking pathetic that we try to act like this, oh, it's no big deal because it happened to a white person. Fuck you, okay? It is a big deal. Doesn't matter who it is, okay? If this was some Asian dude being captured by, you know, a couple black people and this happened, I'd still be outraged because it's fucking disgusting that we as American citizens are capturing each other and torturing each other over fucking presidential candidates. Fuck off with that shit, man. I'm done. Have a nice day, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.